Welcome Capricorn. This is going to be your singles love reading. Hope everybody is doing well. Let's jump right in here. So we have the Ace of Wands. I love the Ace of Wands because it's all about a new beginning. Okay. There may be like feeling like some things are not coming through as of right now. Maybe not feeling like you're getting recognition or attention or feeling like things are a bit of a challenge. But we do have this Ace of Wands, okay? We have a new beginning coming through. But what I'm seeing here with the King of Rings is that there needs, there's like a, a sense of like not feeling motivated to do something here. Uh, we have the Queen of Swords. This is more logic. You're very self-reliant. Um, this is you having a certain perspective. You're super intelligent energy. Uh, this is more of a very honest energy too. But I am seeing this King of Rings just not really feeling up, I guess. <laughs> just not really feeling like you want to put yourself out there as of right now. Maybe that could resonate for some of you, maybe not all of you. Yeah, we have you coming in as the Empress too, which is absolutely beautiful. It's full of abundance. Your nurturer, your wifey material, your marriage material. It doesn't necessarily have to be wifey, but just more marriage material. You have grown a lot. All right, but the challenge is a tower. Okay, makes sense. That's interesting. All right, so there is an energy here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming into the near future. There may be somebody here that you're talking to because we have the king and queen. And it's more logic more than anything. And we have this beautiful queen of pentacles here. Very, again, self-made energy. But the king of rings is in the reverse. So now that I'm kind of seeing this, it's like your, your match is like here. You may have two potential matches here because we do have threes. This person here too, but we have the Empress. Now let's, cl let's clarify because the tower and the challenge can be a lot of resisting to change, okay, as to, or like still healing from a tower moment that has happened to you, which is hard for you to open up to the idea of maybe putting yourself out there for some. If you are in a connection, I am seeing that it's more of a logical kind of, kind of connection here, more of like, kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, like kind of like more of a friendship, more of a bond that is created by, yeah, more of a, a friendship here. But as a lover, I do see that coming in, something new coming in, something more, passionate and exciting and yeah let's see let's see where you are here capricorn see ace of wands is in the reverse in your energy it's here this new beginning is here but you're in hermit mode <laughs> okay and you're like yeah you can find me in my room <laughs> you, can find, you know the hermit is trying to get a better understanding, you know, a comfortable being alone, spending a lot of time of alone, reflecting, very comfortable in this, in this environment. I feel like you're probably not focused too much. The only thing that I'm seeing for some of you guys, you guys may have somebody here that is uncommittal, that may be taking up your time, which is, it's, I'm going to be honest, which can make you feel very comfortable just by being with this one person that's not committal, okay? Where you're kind of putting your attention to them, maybe not too much emotions, but attention into something that is already showing you that is not more of a commitment because there is other opportunities here, other paths opening for you, but you may be just comfortable in something that you're in that you're not, that it's not like pushing you. Huh. 
again, take what resonates. Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands energy and this person's energy with the Emperor. All right, so we have the Emperor. This person could be married or they could be a father, have a family, however, but there is an Emperor energy here with the Queen of Wands. So it's interesting because we have the Emperor and the Empress, but then we have the Queen of Wands energy. The Queen of Wands can be like kind of a third party energy or like a mistress or somebody that is very, um, yeah, just kind of operating from insecurities here from this person, from what I'm seeing. This is interesting. Very, very interesting. The top, because now we have three suits, three matches. We have Earth, Air, and now the Emperor and the Empress. Yeah, there's some dishonesty, lies, or deception, or somebody not taking accountability for their wrongdoing here in the challenge. It's hard to make a choice. It's hard to balance things out right now. It's like juggling back and forth with somebody, but things are out of balance. Things are not in balance because there's a resistance into change. So the scales are off. Hmm. There's like a struggle to do the right thing, whatever this challenge is, okay? That's the challenge here. In the past, it's showing the Three of Swords, heartbreak, breakup, still holding on to something, still holding on to something very tightly. Sadness, grief with the Hierophant, which is about, you know, commitment, marriage, relationships, or something here about, I don't know, I'm just getting uncommittal energy. There's this emperor. This person is thinking of you. I feel like this person, whoever this is that is coming in or thinking about you, the Ace of Cups too is in the reverse. It feels like this person can't give you what you want. There's like an emotional, like there's a cup that's emptying out right here, the Ace of Cups. I feel like this person, I don't know, they're coming in as the Emperor. This is a singles reading, so it's just strange to see the Emperor and the Empress. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see why this is here. Okay, what, what the three of... Mm. I don't like really their intentions here, to be honest. I feel like there's a lot of trickery to hear with the magician. There's some deceitful strategies to keep you. I feel like this person's being very selfish. But like at the same time, they have a lot of feelings for you, but they're not committing to you. They are taking up your time or making you feel comfortable to be in this place where you're not exploring other options. So that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm feeling. And it seems like there may be a new interest here or someone trying, you know, maybe not wanting you to go with new interest, but there is a new interest here that wants to come in with the Page of Cups. I feel like this person kind of gives you a little bit of, they give you an, like, something that you probably need right now like emotionally emotionally fulfilled a little bit i don't know capricorn this is really i'm trying to read this reading there's just a lot of things involved this person wants to huh
the moon, the strength card, the page of cups. There's some somebody's about to make a move. Something is about to be revealed. Someone's gaining up the courage to either apologize or to send you an offer from what I'm seeing. Out of, after a period of possible separation. Ooh, the King of Swords now is coming in. Okay, so now it looks like the King and the King of Swords. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There may be an energy here to where someone is kind of being cold and detaching now and keeping things stagnant. And as for the King of Pentacles, the King of Coins, this is kind of throwing you off or throwing or just the King of Coins, what it represents is like, like this is making everything feel unstable. Now there's like a need to kind of protect yourself. I feel like you're thinking this person's unreliable now. They're coming up unreliable. They're not there to... It's like this person kind of has the control in some way, whoever this is. But it's more of like, but they're not giving you what you deserve. And I feel you're putting other potential things on hold are not inspired to take action right now because something here is either distracting, but then we have the tower too. The tower is involved. So that when the tower is involved, this could be something that really, something that happened to you or something that like, like you're still healing from, you're still trying to build back stronger from, you become wiser and maybe you're just in that hermit phase because of this. But now what spirit is saying is that, hey, we have this ace of wands available that if you're wanting this, it's yours. Okay, it's yours. But there's something about struggling to do what's right. And it seems like somebody is going cold in the outcome. <laughs> sorry, I'm guys. I'm <laughs> I am so sorry. I'm getting over the the flu. Yeah, because you're very abundant, soft spirit. Like you're ready. You are ready. You have a wish coming through and everything. You are ready for this wish, for your desires, all of it. Look at that. It's beautiful. You're like, okay, I have my shit together. You know, and this is like I feel what's coming in for you. Your wishes, your desires. Hmm. Okay, let's see what this person, what their messages are to you. Reminiscing. Oh, they're thinking about you. They miss your inside jokes. I'm still trying to heal. Okay, self-love. I'm just going to grab one of those. I just like to grab more of the divine messages. And this is more of like how they're feeling here. Just being near you is intoxicating. I left when I saw you with someone else. Maybe this person's a little jealous when you start talking to people. I left you before you can leave me. I'm starting to understand our connections. It just feels a little immature, to be honest. Maybe playing a little bit of too many games to try to keep you in their control. Uh, I don't see Capricorn playing that game for too long or not catching on. You will catch on to that very quickly. Okay, you'll know when somebody is not being genuine. And then they're going to end up reminiscing about you and missing your jokes and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't play those games. I just do not see, like when it comes to commitment, I don't see that here with an energy. That's why I feel like a new path is opening here for you. Okay. Let's get some advice from Spirit. Resolution. Whatever it is that you've been struggling with is about to be resolved. 
Remember that resolutions don't always happen in the way we hope or want, but being able to move forward and start fresh always brings relief. Wow, that's a strong message there. Okay, so I'm going to leave that right there for you, Capricorn. I hope this message did help and bring some clarity to you. And if it did in any way, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. God bless.